I'm so excited. It's day four of our user's guide to paying for college. And all this week, we've had the experts break down everything you need to know about cutting your college costs and choosing the best school. To check out any of their advice, go to my website, jerrywillis.com. But tonight, a family going through the college application process right now here to share their experience, and we've got some advice for them from Princeton Review, Senior Vice President and Publisher Rob Frannick. He's been here all week. Boy, I'm going to try this again. James Catamaccio, did I say that right? Yes. He's a high school senior at St. Francis Prep in Queens, New York. Big school, good school. And his father, Robert, is a retired New York City police sergeant. Welcome to everybody. Great to have you here. Good to be here. James, I'm going to start with you. You go to one of the most competitive high schools in the country, <laughs> practically. If you're there, you're a rock star. Do you feel prepared for college? I do. I really do. I took a lot of AP classes. Our guidance uh, department at St. Francis Prep is great, and I feel like you know, I'm really prepared. And going to such a prestigious school, I've been able to take these AP classes, and I do feel like you get a gist for a college class. I do feel prepared. So you've applied a bunch of places. Yes. Where have you gotten into? Well, I applied to some schools early action, so I heard back from those. I heard back from Fairfield, uh, Scranton, Loyola, and Maryland. And then I applied to some schools' regular decision, uh -huh. some Boston College, Villanova, um, Fordham. And then I did do some Ivies like Harvard and Yale, and I haven't heard back from them yet because those don't come out until April you, 1st. You've applied essentially to, what, 12? Yes, around okay. there. Mm -hmm. Rob, what do you say about that? How many, how many schools should you apply to? Most students will apply to between seven and nine schools. That's probably the right, the right target, but there's going to be some superlative schools, particularly Renaissance students like James that are going to apply to a couple more. All right. What do you want to major in? Remind me what you want to study. Right now, I'm leaning towards history, political science, uh, maybe to go to law school, something You're like that. You're going to be president. That's what you told me. <laughs> that you said, I yeah. want to be the president of this country. Yes. All right. What do you tell students who are undecided, though? And you, Maybe you don't know what you want to study. It's true. And, and truthfully, most students don't know what they want, want to study. Right. Most are going to go into school undecided. They might have a love of something that they've done in high school already, and that's terrific. But most of the schools that students are applying to are liberal arts schools. The first two years of study in college are going to be lots of general courses in different, different Different areas so that at the end of your sophomore year you're going to know without question. All right, so what are you, what's your priority in a school? You, you've applied to a lot of different yeah. kinds of places. Is there one common theme with them? Well, for me, I judge schools on the vibe. You know, I'm walking on the campus and I can picture myself there. You know, I can picture myself walking across across this lawn to get to class. And it's important, you know, numbers and prestige and the name. But for me, it's am I going to be happy at this school and am I can I see myself here? Yeah. Uh, Rob, what do you say? I dig it. It's right on. It's what we've been discussing all week is finding your best fit school. That's an academic fit, campus culture fit, financial aid fit. But it's getting that wonderful feeling on I'm campus. I'm so glad you didn't say, well, I started with a list of party schools. Yeah. <laughs> I worked my way through it. All right, Dad, let's go to you. So the process of applying, though, uh, you know, I've been looking at these forms. I've been seeing what they send back. I am mystified by almost all of it. Do they give you enough time to go through this stuff? Mm -hmm. The problem is they don't give you enough time to go through all the forms because the forms are difficult to fill out for a layman. I'm a retired police officer. It's very difficult for me to fill them out. So you need to print them out as a worksheet, prepare them, and then fill them in and send them. You get lots of information. Rob, what's your best advice? Because there are people out there who are still trying to fill out some of these forms. One, I think, to know it is a noble process. And, and uh, Mr. A Camacho, noble process. It is a, a noble process. It is a noble process. <laughs> You're going to be able to get through it. Um, and I think Mr. Conimacho is saying you it can, best. You can, you can beat this. You can beat it. Uh, absolutely. You have to take your time uh, and think about things from an academic perspective and then the financial aid perspective as well, which could be a bear because it, it, it really does does scare a lot of students and families. So what was the most confusing form you filled out? Well, I was telling Rob earlier, the CSS profile, a lot what is of that? The CSS profile, Rob, you could probably it's explain a, it better. Yeah, it's, supplemental it's, financial aid form that some schools require you fill out, but not So even Just more some, stuff. Right, it's yeah. more financial aid. So it's very invasive. It's, it's harder than but the facts. You have to ask a lot of really deep and personal. <laughs> oh, yes. It's right? amazing. Yes. It's Did you amazing. have to look stuff up? Did you have to go back into your file drawer and say, oh, gosh, 1986, what was I doing? <laughs> well, not so much then. They, they really want to know 2000, like the year before, the year prior, and the year that you're going through it. Okay. So what do you tell people about trying to put that all together? You know, some families are blended families. Yep. And it can get really confusing with the details of is, where is mom, is mom playing, is, is it's dad. What do you tell people? What I love about the Cotamaccio family is that they've taken this process together. 
finding your best fit school academically, outside of the classroom, thinking about the financial aid process. They worked as a partnership and team, and they left plenty of time to go through this process. You didn't do it at the last minute, which it would be overwhelming. It still could be a little overwhelming, but you're going to be able to master that process as well. I love it. You know, we've yep. got something from Cal Cheney, your yeah. compatriot, and I, and I just want to bring him into this conversation. He's not here, but we have a stop from here. Let's hear from Cal. Colleges try to figure out how much you're willing to pay before you cry uncle and say we can't go. So they're trying to get you to pay the most amount. You're trying to pay the least amount. You want to be prepared and do your homework. Uh, you want to be prepared to provide additional documentation to prove your case. So, Robert, are you out there? Are you trying to get a better deal right now? Well, I've contacted some schools and since the contact, they've given us a little more financial aid and some work study program. I like that. Yep. So are you holding their feet to the fire? Because you've got like a fantastic candidate here. Well, you have to be persistent. You need to call. You need to call them and you need to say, listen, we need a little more money if we can uh, if you want us to attend the school. Best thoughts, Rob, on 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 holding those schools feet to the fire. And Because, look, here's the way it works from what I've heard. Yep. The student aid officer is not your friend. OK, <laughs> this is somebody he's that person is trying to hold back all the dollars that they can and get you in there with just the least amount of money. So. Rob, how do you get them to give more? I think the tide changes once the admission letter gets to a student, because now we have between, let's call it March yeah. 15th and May 1st, where that school has to yield you as a student. So when we start to think about them giving out money at the beginning, now the tide has turned. So you can use that to your advantage to call those schools and be persistent, as, as Robert has, uh, and saying that this is our, our first choice, or this is one of our top contenders. What can you do for me from the financial aid perspective? Well, I, you know, look, I, I think that that's the right advice. Robert, what would you say is the, the single most best piece of advice you can give to other parents right now? I would tell parents to start the process early. Get out and visit schools. Get out there. How many did you visit? We visited approximately about 25 schools. Wow. That's a lot of travel, Dad. It's a lot of travel. And it's a lot of, you have to coordinate all your visits. So it's a lot of hard work. But it's good to see all of them because you, you get an idea for what you like. Do you like a suburban campus? Do you like a mid-sized school? Do you want a private or Catholic school? You really get to see what types of school you want. You can narrow it down by seeing more that way. So that helped you make up your mind yes, to begin with. Yes, definitely. Robert, uh, Rob, last thoughts here uh, as we prepare to go. You know, I, I just think it's so great to have somebody on who's in the middle of this because yeah. it's got to be harrowing yeah. and, and sort of scary because you really it's a it's a black box. You don't even t you know, you don't even come up with your estimated family contribution that they do it for you. That's right. True. That's true. But by May 1st, you're going to make this decision that everybody's going to ask you about for the rest of your life. It is an <laughs> awesome thing. It's an awesome task. But if you do it right. You, and it's so possible to do it right that it's such a rewarding thing when you enroll as a freshman. I, now I want to go back. To school. <laughs> right, I'm right. so excited about this. Uh, James, uh, are you excited? Are you ready I'm, to go? I'm, I'm sad to leave high school, but I'm definitely ready for the next chapter of my life. Do you, sure. do you have a feel for where you might opt for? Uh, hopefully staying close to home, but un, away enough to dorm me before them or somewhere like that. So I'm it's excited. Cool. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. Yeah. All right, President. <laughs> You guys have got to come back. Come back and tell us how freshman year went. I will, for okay. sure. Okay. Thanks so much for coming on and Thank sharing you. your story. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. Good to be here. Of course. Of course. Appreciate it. Have fun in the snow. <laughs>